with Chef Ricardo cooking program today. Today we want to show you guys that, you know what I mean, tell you all a little bit and tips about Christmas. Christmas is coming up soon. Basically, I want to simply say to you, with the steak, you need to get it beat out and flat. So the most important thing, if you go to the local shop and the, or the bushy shop, you need to make them flatter the beef for you. Beat it out until it get really thin. So, I got two pieces, but basically, what I'm going to simply do is the tips and the idea behind the scene is simply sprinkle a little bit of beef season, all-purpose seasoning, some pepper, paprika, and it on all of those seasons where you normally use the season the meat every day. That's what you want to do. So now you see what I'm doing right here. Second thing, I have some egg right here. Beat already one egg. I got some all-purpose flour and also some breadcrumbs. So simple, sprinkle a little bit of the mix of season which I have. In my season, I got all-purpose beef season, paprika, and some everyday seasoning, and also I have meat seasoning pinch of pepper and as you can see i sprinkle a little bit on it already simple marinate your meat before you fry it this is just a tips and an idea guys and i'm gonna show you all you can do with this christmas beef right here lovely and nice so as you can see so first of all what you need to do flour your beef like this simple and then put it in the egg wash, next piece. But remember, I said to you, you need to make the busher flatter the beef, beat the beef until it get really thin. So right here, as you can see, then next, I'm gonna simple egg wash it just like this. And then put it in the breadcrumbs. And just put it right here so for a couple of minutes. Egg wash this one. This is a little bit of breadcrumbs. I just breadcrumbs up. You can get breadcrumbs at the local shop, supermarket, or you can make your own breadcrumbs, guys. By simple, just get the bread and blend it, or use it in a smoothie blender nice one so that is finished basically what we're gonna do now we're gonna show you the next tips and idea of what we're gonna do next nice and lovely right here i have a medium-sized pot on the stove with some oil inside of it guys as you can see i have it on roughly about five minutes now with the oil so probably a little bit hot but we don't want to know if your oil is hot it's simple test it like this see that's really hot lovely turn on my, my stove and basically I'm gonna get my steak and I'm gonna simply put it in like this and I'm gonna french fry it for roughly about five five minutes from both sides because it is really thin so you cannot fry it till it get burns up all right but what I want to simply say to you with a recipe like this you need to marinate your meat more get all of those seasoning and marinate it from the day before that it get really soaked properly but it's a lovely recipe and you can use this for your Christmas. Also, it's just an idea and a tips which you can do French fried beef for Christmas. You can serve with some roast potato and veg at the side. Lovely and nice. So if I simple turn over to the other side, like this. And get the other one, turn over to the other side. Turn on my stove a little bit low and leave it for it to fry for roughly about 
Nice one. So all you need to do with the french fry your beef, simple. Get a piece of a napkin and rest it on it just like this. Alright? Um, next thing what you can do, if it doesn't fry it right and proper way or you want it to be fried, you can also put it in the side of your oven for a nice good 20 minutes. But let's cut this one and see something. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You see that? Lovely and nice. That's a perfect fry. So if I put it inside of my plate, just like this. Look at this one, really nice. So, if you cut this one, ah, beautiful. This is exactly what Chef Ricardo is all about. French fry beef. Look at that guys, that is excellent, really nice. So, as you can see, that is just another idea, another tips of what you can also do for this Christmas guys on the Christmas table. French fried beef can go also on the table, but if you need to do French fried beef, it has to be really thin, flat, and make the busher beat it out for you as it come really thin. So hopefully you will enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, and please leave your comments. That's just a simple, easy, effective recipe for Christmas. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much and hopefully you have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself and see you in the next time. Bye bye.